Hello everybody, my name is Elijah. Welcome to 85 Studios. Hey, um, I got to, uh, looking at something here, um, on YouTube. Uh, there's a buddy of mine, well, okay, he's not really a buddy of mine, um, he's a channel that I've been following for a very long time, at least, uh, four years now, uh, called Creeps McPasta. Uh, he, what he does is he does the narration voices for a lot of the scary stories you hear on Reddit, or you see on Reddit and that kind of stuff. And he's got a really good channel, and something horrible happened to him. And so, uh, basically, I'm going to go into this uh, video here uh, a little bit. I'm going to play this video for you. If I can find my mouse, I've got five monitors here trying to get it. Find it. It's bad when you got to look around the room to find your mouse. Okay, so here is his video that he just posted. Um, it's actually I've up I've uh, basically reposted it on my uh, Facebook page here, so that hopefully you guys can see it and find it. And I'll also post a link to his GoFundMe page here, uh, so that you guys can see it as well. Um, we're gonna go full screen. Hello, greetings from the pastor here. Yeah. Happy Easter. Um, so, yes, this we this weekend has been interesting. <clears throat> yeah, they stole all of his stuff. Everything that he had, everything that yeah. he owned. This weekend has been interesting. So... This weekend has been Insomnia, I-60, big event in the NEC, met loads of very fun people, did a lot of fun things, have a lot of stories to take away. The first day went great, the second day went great. I guess his computer used to be on that desk right there. No, they ransacked and his um, place and stole everything he had. Yeah, in the early hours of the 16th, so just starting Easter, I come home and... Yeah, the, um, the gate to my house was unlocked. My window was pried open. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. And yeah. Five years of work was gone. <laughs> yeah, well, the electricals in my house was uh, taken. So things like my friend's laptop. Yeah, that's where which his sucks. computer was. His PlayStation 4, Workstation. which, you know, again, sucks. My old TV, which sentimental, sucks. My monitors, which I just got a new one as well, which sucks. But the biggest thing is the, uh, the computer that's gone. Because, yeah, that had everything I've ever done on all my channels, all the things I was planning, all my writing. I think I. See, here's the thing, guys. That is every, worst, every YouTuber's worst nightmare. And that is basically everybody's worst nightmare. And me, with this setup here, and living in a camper and everything I have alarms I have cameras I have security systems out the ass I have guns I have a big dog and I mean other than guns that they can't have in the UK now I don't know what all he had or anything like that going on but uh, I'll tell you what that is my worst nightmare as well and I've done everything I can to prepare for that something like that to happen 
Um, but I mean, it's really sad to see somebody who has done so much good for the YouTube world, the YouTube communities, go through something like this alone and not have anybody there to help him. I myself have donated ten dollars to his GoFundMe account because it's all I have. It's the best I can do. I hope it helps in some way. If I get any more that I can spare, I'll probably go back and donate a little bit more to him. But I don't know what else to do. Uh, you guys, um, I mean, I, I've I've had GoFundMe pages for startup and stuff like that for this channel, and um, I didn't really get a whole lot of uh, help or assistance on that. Um, I don't think I've gotten any on it, but I'm not worried about it on mine. Instead of donating to mine or anybody else, um, look in the description below and find the link to his GoFundMe page, and let's see if we can help him out, because he just got robbed, and I really... I, I, I've been stolen from before. I've never been burglarized like this, but this is a horrifying, horrid thing to have happen and if any, if any of you have been there had this happen to you uh you'll know that um the guy really she's he's gonna need some help i mean you you can't you can't bounce back with that or from something like that without help that's get just some back luckily i send things off to get them reviewed by people so hopefully they can send them back and yeah, this is a so talented guy. This video can't happen. <laughs> this is a talented guy. He's he's a writer. Yes. Yeah, he's horrible. a narrator. Got a good I don't voice. Don't want to take a break. I have not taken a break. Not he's in the UK anyway. Even when I'm sick, I've always managed to make things work. I or it's one thing I always pre um. It's one thing I've always prided myself on with my channels. I've always worked, even when I couldn't, I've always had a plan. Sometimes I have a few recordings for when I'm sick. When I'm sick, I find many remedies to sound unsick for at least 10, 20 minutes to get something out. I back everything up. Everything has always been backed up, but onto the other hard drives in the computer. You see, I, that's my issue too. I counted too. for internet going. I counted for one hard drive to go. It's on two others. No one accounts for. <laughs> I use Microsoft no OneDrive as well. This is a doozy because the problem is it's not like losing data. I've had friends yeah. lose all their data, but you still have the hardware. But I want to get Wednesday's video done, which, you know, Wednesday's the next upload day. I, could, I can glass this as Sunday. <laughs> uh, that gives me three days to try to get sorted. It's the crowbar they do. found. It's the worst timing as well, because uh, I don't know if people have heard about the demonetization on YouTube. I don't know about that. I don't know what that half is Half my all earnings, about. roughly. I've been working hard to get up to how things were. I might be able to make it work then, but... If a mic... Yeah, it... I can't... You can't plan for this. If a mic goes, you can replace a microphone. If your speakers go, you can replace a speaker, but everything... Yeah. That's too much. And it's not just that. That computer had everything. You have a two-year-old nephew. Every video, every That's picture I've taken of him is on there. Holiday pictures mean a lot to me. Years. I backed everything up, but always on that. Always on the extra hard drives on the computer. Okay, I don't. And here's the other thing. I mean, even in as bad of a neighborhood as I think that I'm in, I haven't had this happen yet. I have eight cameras on the outside of my house, though. Um, everybody knows I got a big dog, and everybody knows I've got a gun. Um, but a place like that, 
See, look at look at how nice of house he has. You know his his place. You wouldn't expect something like this. You really wouldn't. And I'm sitting here going. You know, I, I wish that this hadn't happened because, I mean, now, I mean, I, you know what this is doing? This is making me miss out on my scary tour, my scary story reading, listening time. I, uh, this ain't happening, guys. So, um, shout out to Creeps McPasta. Um, I'll leave a link to this video down below as well as his GoFundMe page. Um, this is getting a little bit lengthy here I know um, and uh, as far as the donations go if you guys can if you have it if you can spare it please go to his GoFundMe link and see if you can help him out he's missing everything he doesn't even have a computer to do uh, videos anymore he doesn't have microphones anymore he has nothing and I don't know if he's ever gonna be able to get any of it back or trace any of it or anything like that but um, instead of just prayers this time guys and I know prayers is usually the best I can do send out some prayers but you know what in this case I sent out actual money which is the the best I can actually do um, to his GoFundMe page and the most that I could give was about ten dollars but the best I mean that you can do is you know at least leave him a warm comment at the very minimum and let him know that he's not alone because this can make you feel really vulnerable and really scared it can really mess you mess with your mind it can really hurt you badly and not only is he missing everything but how would you feel if you had to sleep in the same place he just got robbed and not even know if you were gonna get robbed again or if somebody was gonna break in again or if the person that broke in was looking for you or if they were just looking for shit to steal this is something that um, it plagues minds guys so if you could do if you could do something for me um, do me a solid if not me then him if not him then me Go leave a happy comment on his page. Say something nice. Say something positive and helpful at the very minimum. If you can, uh, go ahead and leave him a donation on his GoFundMe page so that he can try to rebuild what's been lost, okay? And uh, I thank you, and I'm sure he's thankful. He'd be thankful. He doesn't know I'm making this video. Um, but... I don't even know if he'll ever see this video, to tell you the truth, and I don't really care if he does, but I want him to be helped in some way. It's It makes me feel horrible seeing somebody go through this. It should never happen. I hate thieves. I've always hated thieves. I've always hated thieves. I can't stand them. And uh, this is just wrong. So thank you guys. Um, like I say, links to his GoFundMe page and this video will be in my description of this video. So check them out please and visit him and, and give him warm wishes. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and uh, peace be with you. Do what it takes to be happy guys.